James Lund is James the Wine Guy, an outstanding Cabernet Sauvignon coming from Chile. Stay tuned for this review. The iconic label, Don Melcor. I have reviewed other Don Melcor Cabernet Sauvignons. I'll place those videos right here if you want to look at those videos. I think it's a fantastic, sculpted, beautiful wine where uh, sometimes, oftentimes, believe it or not, I'm tasting Cabernet Sauvignon and it's not going to be that signature, that hallmark of beauty, grace, elegance that uh, you know Cabernet Sauvignon, I think well-produced Cabernet Sauvignon should be exemplifying. So here we go, beautiful, iconic label again. So Don Melcor, it says Conche Toro, this is a signature. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Puente Alto Vineyard, 2011 vintage, and the DO is Puente Alto. It is in the Maipo Valley, 14.5% uh, ABV. Back panel for your review here, and uh, so it says that the site is about 127 hectares or about 303 acres, and um, uh, the winemaker is Enrique Terrado. Now this wine is really showing the beauty of Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it is really uh, you know, evolve and come into this great art form. So I look forward to tasting each and every single bottle of Don Melcor. So this wine is 99% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 1% Cabernet Franc, and I think this is really, you know, serve this in your best uh, Bordeaux glass because I think you really want the aeration to completely open, lift every single note in this bottle here. Um, you want this uh, wine to be exemplified. The best way to exemplify this wine is in a beautiful vessel like this, a Bordeaux uh, vessel that's really large and uh, you know the format is going to uh, fold in the oxygen uh, nicely and elegantly. So this wine uh, spends time, uh, can't get enough of that wine. So 99% of this is Cabernet Sauvignon, 1% Cabernet Franc. This wine does change on a year by year basis. It's not always going to be in the 99% range of Cabernet Sauvignon to 1% Cabernet Franc. It's going to change. First taste of this I thought maybe there's a bit of Petit Verdot but there is not. And uh, so sometimes I get a little cynical in terms of 100% or even 99% Cabernet Sauvignon. I really want you know Bordeaux varieties to play a part in this. So I'm sure there were many trials to determine that this is the optimum vintage Cabernet Sauvignon for 2011. So this spends 15 months in new French oak, 70% new French oak, and 30% second new French oak. Absolutely, uh, you know, stunningly gorgeous wine. So let me give you the point score first. Now this is a wine that I uh, ranked in my top 100 wines of 2015. So I'll place the top 100 wines right down here. And uh, so, you know, you can get more information, glean from that, and uh, see what else has been done in terms of other uh, wines I've been reviewing. But this is one of the top scoring Cabernet Sauvignons of this year. So the point score on this is 95 points out of 100 points, or 9.5. And uh, so we're going to jump right into the scent characterization followed by the flavor profile. So in this I'm going to scent characterization of juniper forest, freshly ground herbs, hint of game, moist earth with uh, fallen leaves. Next is the flavor characterization and I'll repeat the point score again. So this wine is exemplary in terms of its uh, flavor characteristics. Notes of bay leaf, dark red cherry, cassis, mint, marjoram, thyme, freshly ground cardamom and rose petals. Again, 9.5 or 95 points out of 100 points. Thank you so much for watching this video and for your support this year and many more fine wines to come. Uh, you know, we still got a few more days left in uh, 2015. So questions and comments can be listed down below. More information on the producer will be listed as well. And guess what's down below? The like button. So please hit that button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. And share this video on your favorite social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. And uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about 2016 to come. Yeah, 2015 has been exemplary. So uh, stay with me on this journey. And again, thank you for your support. And uh, we'll see you again next time around. Salud.